the Milwaukee Road once stretched from the Great Lakes to the Pacific with over 10,000 miles of track and up to 40,000 employees. It was all swept away by circumstances, but it left its mark on technological progress and our memories. In the beginning of the 20th century, many U.S. railroads were giving serious consideration to using electric-powered trains. The interval of electrification was brief, but significant enough to give steam locomotive builders cause for concern. This Midwestern-based steam line dated from the 1850s, accumulating sprawling trackage from Illinois, Wisconsin, Iowa, Kansas, Nebraska, Missouri, Minnesota, and South Dakota. It was destined to complete the line to the Pacific Coast and become the most substantial U.S. railroad electrification project in the West. The Pacific extension of the road was completed by 1909, making it the last transcontinental railroad built or completed. Within a decade, two sections featuring electric operation totaled 660 miles. The two sections covered their toughest mountain operations and gave the Milwaukee a partial advantage over several competing lines. Learn how and why the Milwaukee electrified two sections of its main line to the Pacific coast, all at a great cost that upset its financial situation for decades. This early 20th century experiment developed powerful electric locomotives that could perform in the mountains and tunnels with efficiency unmatched by steam power. See all the classes of electrics built by General Electric and Westinghouse for passenger and freight operations. Many of the electrics dated from World War I, and the Milwaukee kept them in fine form, and they made many improvements on several models until the end of electric operation. By the late 60s, the electrics were eventually reduced in importance as helpers for the more modern diesels in the two areas shown here. The cost of new electric locomotives was prohibitive compared to just purchasing more diesel units. As the electric fleet grew older, the time ran out on the road's electrification and the Milwaukee ended its days bankrupt as an all-diesel line. We compare the limited electric operations of the competing Great Northern and also visit the Butte, Anaconda and Pacific mining electric line that was the prototype for the Milwaukee's interest in electrification. Freight yards, locals, and heavy mainline action is brought back to life decades after the Milwaukee's demise. The Milwaukee's steam, electric, and diesel power with passenger and freight trains will show you why the road still has so many dedicated fans. If you like beautiful scenery, history, and lots of great railroading from Chicago out to the Pacific, this video will help you remember a marvelous and unique railroad and the people that kept it going.